morning we're in the kitchen table with chef de cuisine Clifford who took us to the market in Barcelona but today we're going to see the magic he works with all of our purchases and I'm looking forward to maybe a taste but what we'll be preparing is for dinner later tonight thank you for joining us you're welcome uh, so we're gonna start here you want me to come around uh, one minute in your head oh no official yes okay well this is a joke because I'm a bad cook <laughs> I'll wash my hands yes. and I'll dry them on your apron <laughs> all right so, so tell me what you would do and what we remind us what we purchased so we were in the local market uh, the other day so we had the artichoke which was really fresh in the market we bought some local olives as well and the jamon hebraico ham so we're going to start off with the artichoke here Okay. Sure. Uh, so we, what we're going to do is basically we're going to prepare a salad for later, for the dinner time. Uh, so we need to marinate the artichoke here and the olives and the German Iberico will go together with the salad. So we're going to start off with the artichoke here. Wonderful. And this is artichoke season, isn't it, in Barcelona? Yes, yes. yes. They had some beautiful yeah, this, artichokes. This is freshly from this season. So in the month of March, they say this is the best time to get the artichokes in the market. So yeah. And then... Maybe you want to do the salt here? Yeah. Oh, this is my job? Yes. All right, I got it. This I can handle. Yeah. All right. And there uh, you go. We'll go with the oregano as well here. Just with my fingers? Yes. Or do I sprinkle? Fingers? Yes. All right. There we go. All Ore right. Oregano. Yes. Oh. Then we have some olives here, which will go together with the salad later. Delicious. So we're going to keep the um, Keep the artichoke for some uh, maybe 30 minutes for marination and we're going to cut it off and cook it off and then uh, we're going to put it together with the salad for tonight and then uh, i will have you here together with me for dinner i look forward to that but so you marinate them then do you roast them or boil them you so, can't boil them the marinade would go away yeah with the salad yes uh, we're going to marinate them and then we're going to cut it thin it's going to marinate with the lemon juice later so it's going to be cooked okay like, yeah and then we can um, prepare a salad with the fresh artichoke, the local uh, locally bought uh, olives, and together with the jamon. Would you like to try the jamon? I've been waiting since the market. <laughs> I am partial vegetarian, but not for Iberico ham here in Spain. Yeah. So I thank you. Thank you. Mm, that is. Get... I can't wait till dinner. I could have a whole plate of just that. Certainly. So we're gonna prepare the salad. So we're gonna just keep the artichoke for now for 30 minutes and then we're going to proceed to make the salad later. Well, I'll be back for dinner and guests would normally do this with you. They would go to the market yes. and then come enjoy dinner here yes. at the kitchen table. But you make them cook as well? Yes, it's, it's a quite a unique experience in the kitchen table. When the guests come here, they learn the cooking skill from the chef uh, who are well trained and uh, they prepare by themselves and take some memories back home and they can cook it for their families, friends together and uh, share with them the experience what they had on board. I, I love it and I'll be back this evening. Yes. I won't shake your hand again, but I will <laughs> thank you very yes. from the heart. It's been wonderful working with you and I'll see you tonight. Can I yes. take the rest of my yes. ham? Thank you, <laughs> Chef. I know you're busy. I'll see you tonight. I'll see you this evening. Yes. Take care. Take care. Italian adventure starts today. We've docked in Livorno, driven to this beautiful city that I would like you to look at, Brunelleschi's Dome, the Baptistry, the home of the de' Medici. We are in Firenze, Florence, and we're looking forward to exploring by vintage fiat and a walk around this beautiful city. Frederica, thank you for meeting us and taking us on this adventure today. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you too. What are we going to see? So I'm going to take you in the countryside that we have just here around Florence. You know, it's a five minute drive. Um, we'll see some beautiful viewpoints and especially all these tiny roads that our, us locals go on. It sounds like an adventure. I hate to leave this view though, but we'll come back this afternoon. Yeah, we have the beautiful walls of the city. We can only see them from this side of town. And the cathedral, the Duomo, the Palazzo Vecchio, 
I love my city. Honestly. I have never been up to this viewpoint. San Min... San Miniato, exactly. San Min... Exactly. Hardly, exactly. <laughs> San Miniato. This is a beautiful viewpoint to see everything in the sun just hitting all, all the buildings. Let's go. Let's go. Let me open the door for you. And we are off. Here we go. Andiamo. Andiamo. Look at the sunlight hitting the stones. Yes, it's beautiful. beautiful. Into the Tuscan countryside. Definitely, that's where we're going. You can already see a little bit of these cypress trees everywhere. Yes. If you have a Tuscany postcard in your hands, you can definitely tell like that's the most symbolic tree that we have. It, uh, it even like keeps within three historical moments that we had like before the romans here we had the etruscans that's the native right. population I know the etruscans yes. and what we think is that they used to bury people when they were dead under the cypress trees because the cypress looked like they were getting the souls to the sky oh they're reaching up to the heavens yeah and then fast forward like two thousand years we have late 1800s uh the romantic movement so yes. a lot of people especially brits somehow but like a lot of writers <laughs> poets they all came to this area because of course tuscany is so beautiful inspires romantic feelings um and they had this romanticized idea of the medieval times of course oh. it wasn't about slaughter and war no, and no, people no, dying of hunger just about, <laughs> no no about no love. black death for them no no about love and countryside and castles so they restored a lot of the castles oh. around here and then they planted a lot a lot a lot of these cypress trees it somehow embedded this movement so that was be way before under the tuscan sun brought all the americans yeah 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 exactly maybe around there and uh yeah we even have a hill you can see it from here of uh, Fiesole, next to Fiesole, there is where, you know Leonardo da Vinci, you heard right. his name before, I, right? I have heard that once or <laughs> twice in my life. And uh, so he built at some point these wings for humans to fly. And yeah, he, I've seen the drawings. And so he jumped from- Oh, he jumped from one of those- Well, guys. not him, sorry, his uh, servant okay. slash friend. <laughs> I don't know how good a friend after. Yeah, I didn't go too well, he just crashed on the side of the, of the hill, but- Did he survive? Mm, we're not, we're unsure about it. <laughs> But they decided to plant a lot of the cypress trees there before it used oh. to be just a big uh, mine where they got all these like gray stones. Okay, that they... might be indicative he didn't survive. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, oh, we're going to Arcetri. Is, uh, it's already, you know, it used to be a different town at the time of the okay. Medici. You mentioned the Medici before, but you know, these days with cars, it's not that fun. It's a five minute drive. So it's a suburb. Uh, yes, it's a suburb. It's a very like fancy suburb these days because it's like it's all villas old um you know old walls etruscan roman walls Beautiful. and you have castles a lot of pine trees you see these like giant yes. broccoli looking like trees yes. you know we're all about food right so we make pesto with pine nuts oh and so these are, are pine nut trees exactly i had pine nut ice cream San Gimignano oh, yesterday. Ah, nice. You were in San Gimignano. Yes, saffron and pine nut. Probably the best I've ever tasted. Yeah, that's like the... But I didn't know what the trees looked like. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. Oh, so look at some of these villas. Mm -hmm. And like all of these walls, mm -hmm. again, we're all about food. We have a lot of caper plants that grow out of them. Just wild. Just wild. So you'll see in June a lot of like ladies and like just picking them. You can pick the, the leaves, the capers, and then the uh, leaves are edible yes as well but i mean you have to put them uh mm -hmm. you have to steep them with salt and water oh, okay but they're amazing so are this these is the big capers in the states we have the teeny but i've seen the big ones you here. can you have both so the big ones is just when the flower hasn't blossomed yet oh okay and then the small one is actually the fruit of the of caper the yeah so we have this nice viewpoint oh. here generally in the countryside what you see is that all the villas all the old feudal points they were all at the very top mm -hmm. of the hills and you know, you see the colors here, like we have a law here that protects the outside of the houses. It's a fine, fine arts law. So like if you have the paint of a certain color or the roof of terracotta, you have to keep it that way. Okay. Now in the past, there used to be a reason why you would have a certain color. Imagine everything spread out and you're like, you know, I need, I need some meat. Where am I going to get it? 
and you look at the house and like, oh, there's a pink house over there. That's that probably means a butcher. It's a butcher. That's oh, cool. okay. And so, oh, there's a white one. That's probably where they say flower. And they go. And these days, it's just pretty. You know, it's um, what's yellow? Say again. What would yellow have yellow? signify? Yellow. Oof. Oh no. Uh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> honey. Maybe, Maybe honey. Because I see the honey. Yeah, and you know, one other thing about the surroundings of Florence, when the Medici family were here. Um, when there was somebody that they didn't like, it used to be a thing to just exile them. So this was far enough. So there is one guy, maybe you heard Galileo Galilei, like the song? Have, yes, Galileo, I, I've heard of Galileo, Galileo. yes. So, you know, he had this strange idea that the sun, that the, the world was, the earth would spin around the sun, right? And the church was like, you know, that's not exactly what they say on the Bible. And right. he was super friends with the Pope even. And he was like, no, 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 what I'm trying to prove here, science, it's all, you know, to make sure that that everybody believes in God, mm -hmm. like, you know, what he's doing. They're like, ah, we can't have you in Florence, like, saying things like that. So, but they really liked him, the yeah. Medici as well. So they were like, we're just going to exile you close enough so that oh. we can still have you around. So <laughs> Wait. He, he used to study here at the observatory. So this was Galileo's home? Uh, his home is just, just in front of us, just a little bit further But this off. was his observatory. Yes, this is where he did all his studies, and now it's the Institute of Physics. So, you oh, know, wow. this, so is, this is where... It all began. Yes, you know. Or no, it ended. It since he was exiled. He <laughs> I was guess exiled. so. Yeah, this is where he spent most of his life. I so. like exiles that keep the brains close. Yes, yes, yes. So this is how we live here in Florence. Like Beautiful. every, like full of history, art, and everything is just around us. It is magnificent, and the history is magnificent. And the Medici's were brilliant. Yeah, and as long as you can eat everything you see, we're we're happy. All right, yeah. I now know I can eat caper leaves, <laughs> so yes. we are new. Should we head on? Let's go. We've come down into the center of Florence now, and I'm on the Piazza di San Croce in front of the Church of Santa Croce. And we're going to explore all the treasures that Firenze has to offer today with our wonderful guide, Samuele, or Sam. It's the same. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love Jane. our first stop here. Tell me what we're going to see inside Santa Croce. Well, we're gonna see beautiful things amazing frescoes, statues, but especially beautiful tombs of very famous and smart people. Michelangelo. Galileo Galilei. The scientist, the artist. Niccolò Machiavelli. Machiavellian. Politician and Gioacchino Rossini. Rossini, we have all the genius levels of music, yeah. science, art, exactly. and authors covered. Absolutely. Can we go inside and see them? Of course. Andiamo. Andiamo, let's go. Sadly, we weren't allowed to film inside the beautiful churches and museums of Florence, but I did so enjoy discovering the many treasures inside, just as our guests will when they visit this city that is the home of the Renaissance. I had been to Florence many times, but this afternoon, the opportunity to walk around the city, visiting all the sites with few crowds was indeed a gift. The gold shops were sparkling on the Ponte Vecchio, and I loved taking photos of the Duomo as the evening sun highlighted the many colors. On a few of the side streets, when all alone, I could easily imagine running into Cosimo de' Medici at the height of the Renaissance. With 
this beautiful view of Florence. It's sad to say goodbye as we head on to Rome, but we're on the Arno River here looking at Brunelleschi's gorgeous dome and heading back to our port in Livorno and on to Rome. Goodbye, Florence. Firenze, it has been wonderful. Sailing out of Livorno at sunset was spectacular, and you will always find me on deck for every sail away. Rome beckoned, and though we will sadly disembark the Viking sun in Civita Vecchia, we'll spend two full days exploring the Eternal City in the quiet season. <laughs> <laughs>